All right, let's go over the final essay project requirements. So we're going to compare and contrast either two objects or two artifacts or two architectural structures from two different cultures, periods in art history that we have studied over the second half of this semester. So you can choose to work with the Etruscan culture and art and you could choose either their architecture or maybe their funerary art. You could choose to compare the Roman culture and art. And again, you're going to pick either architecture or an art object from one of the cultures we've studied. So the cultures that we studied in the second half is the Etruscans, the Romans, the Byzantine, and the Islamic culture. And so you're going to decide, I'm going to compare Roman art to Byzantine art, right? Um, and you're going to pick an art object. Okay, so that's one thing that you can choose to do. Or you could choose to compare two architectural structures from two different cultures. So you, maybe you decide to compare Islamic architecture to Byzantine architecture. So that's the basis for your final project essay. And then these are the requirements that you're going to need to follow. So your paper is going to need to be a minimum of 800 words. You're going to embed two images, right? Um, just like I've shown you here. So if you choose to do architecture, you're going to embed examples of the architecture. So you'll have at least two images embedded and you're going to include the physical properties. And so we've gone over that, but here's a reminder of what you need to include. Most of the objects and the architecture in the second half of the semester, we either know who made it so the name of the person who made it or the name of the person who commissioned it. So you should be able to find that information. Most of the objects have been identified with some sort of a name. So the date it was made, the size, what it was made of. You should be able to research this as well and how it was made. There's lots of information in the second half of the semester that indicates how the designers of some of these huge architectural monuments, how they made them, what was their process, why did they choose certain materials, and then of course what's its function. So we've got 800 words minimum, two at least two images of the two different artifacts you're comparing, the physical properties of both of those artifacts, and then your essay, you, it's required to have an introduction. The introduction, you should be naming the two cultures. You should be naming the two objects or the two artifacts or the two architectural structures and explain why you chose these cultures, why you chose these artifacts or architectural structures. You're going to embed the two images. You're going to include the physical properties. And then the body of your essay we're going to be referencing these prompts. So once you have picked these two objects, two artifacts, or two architectural structures, and you've included that in the introduction, why you've chosen them, then you're going to go through and respond to these various prompts. So discuss the similarities of the two cultures, discuss the differences, Reflect on how the two cultures might have influenced each other. So if you chose Byzantine and Islamic, how did those two cultures influence each other? What was the use of the object, artifact, or architectural structure? Who made it or designed it? So you've already told me that, so you can kind of maybe further explain why it was commissioned. The cultural context of the civilization in relationship to how the object or artifact was used. So that's also, there's a, because there's more writing and more information about the cultures that we're studying in the second half, 
you should be able to find um, some information about how the object was used or what the um, architectural site was used for, uh, what was it made of, how the material that it was made of might have influenced the style or how it was built. Include any visual significance or symbolism of the object artifact. So more information has been found about what these objects symbolize. So you might want to talk about that. And, you know, out of the two, when, when you're comparing these two things from the readings and the things that you learned, which object, artifact, or architectural structure do you like best and why? So lots of prompts to work towards getting this minimum of 800 words. So that's the body of your essay. And then a conclusion, you're going to explain one concept that stood out for you from your research. You'll also have three references, um, and those can be websites of um, websites that you used in your research. So we've got these different cultures, the Etruscans, Romans, Byzantine, and Islamic. So four different cultures to choose from. And then you're going to be doing a compare and contrast of one of the cultures to another. And you're going to either pick an art object or artifact, or you're going to pick two architectural structures. So that's um, pretty much what you'll be doing for the final project essay. Keep me posted with questions. Thanks.